Welcome to this episode of Ink It Up with Jessica TV. I'm Jessica Taylor and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make this fun spinner card using your circle framelits. I'm using the layering circle framelits from Stampin' Up and my two circle framelits are the biggest circle and the fourth biggest circle. So this circle is about 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch and this one is about 2 and 1 eighth inch and you need your opening between your two circles to be about 3 eighths of an inch. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your circles and for this card and for demonstration purposes I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. To cut my circles I'm going to build my Big Shot Sandwich by using the magnetic platform, a clear cutting pad, my piece of paper that I want to cut, and then the circles. So I'm going to center the circle, the largest circle, up towards one end so that I have room to stamp a greeting on the bottom and I want it centered on the cardstock. Then I'm just going to center the smaller circle right inside of that. You want the ridge side of the dies to be down so they'll do the cutting. And it doesn't matter so much if it's perfectly centered at this point because you're just cutting the circles. So then I'm going to put another clear cutting pad on top of that and I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. When you're done cutting your circles, you're going to end up with this ring that you don't need so you can set that aside for another project. And then you'll end up with your circle in the middle and your main piece here that we're going to put on just a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is a card base that has a finished size of five and a half by four and a quarter. So that's just going to layer on top of there. At this point, you would want to do all of your stamping. So this is when I would stamp the sun up in the corner, when I would stamp this little cart, drink cart in the middle, and the let the good times roll down on the bottom. So you want to do all your stamping at this point. And then to assemble our card, we're going to use a number of Stampin' Dimensionals. So this is going to add just a little bit of lift and space in between your base card and the top part of your card so that your spinner has space to move around. So you'll want to use quite a few dimensionals to make sure that this paper stays lifted away from your card base to make room for that spinner. You also don't want to get too close to your circle because the spinner is going to extend out a little bit. This is a great place to use some of the edges of your Stampin' Dimensionals. I like to cut a few to put on the sides here where it's getting closer to the circle. Again, on your center circle, you want to keep your dimensionals in towards the center a bit more so that your spinner has room to move around it. Once you've taken all of the paper backings off of your Stampin' Dimensionals, you're going to put your card base down and very carefully center this piece on your card front. I say very carefully because once these Stampin' Dimensionals are stuck down, they don't want to come back up. Then we'll put the circle right in the middle, and this is where it's more important to actually get the circle centered. The next step is to assemble our spinner piece. So for that, I am going to use two pennies. You can also use washers or anything else that has a little bit of weight to it that's a circle that will help your piece move around. So I'm going to take one penny, put a Stampin' Dimensional on it, and then put the other penny on the top. Then you're going to slide it so that the bottom penny slides right in between these two layers, like so. So you have one penny down beneath your circles and one penny on top. Then you would add whatever you want to be spinning around. In this case, it's a little roller coaster car. You would add that just right on top of this. For, you can add another Stampin' Dimensional to hold whatever is on here. I just used a, a good sturdy um, adhesive on here. I just used some fast fuse to keep that together. And then this is going to just spin around and around and around. So how fun is that? There is an easy way to make a spinner card with your circle framelits. So I hope that you'll give that a try. 
Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy stamping!